What's up guys, Rhythm Sticks here. I like talking about things that really grind my gears. The last video I talked about racism, this time it's gonna be a little less heavy. Recently, I passed an English class. Technically. See, our teacher has an 11 absence limit when it comes to her classes. Technically, I passed the class, but due to the fact that I went over the absence thingy, I failed the class and got a Z. See, my teacher could have given me an F, but I got a Z as a courtesy, so this grade will not affect my GPA. And I apologize for the kids in the background because right now it's summer and they're swimming. Since my teacher counts tardies as absences and I have been tardying to her class numerous of times, I'm not going to go into that right now, but I did excellent in the class. But I got a Z for a grade and I had to retake English 1302. Luckily, I do not have to buy more books. Hopefully. See, I was going to do what any smart college student would do and instead of rewriting every single essay that I did, I was going to use my excellent masterpieces from last semester and use them in this class. But, come to find out, there is a little something called self-plagiarism. And self-plagiarism is basically plagiarizing yourself. I know to some professors this may make a little sense, but right now I'm being super selfish and I'm going to use my shallow little brain to come up with a nice little comparison. Let's say you're in a math class, right? And you're taking an exam and you pass said exam, but for some reason you have to retake said exam. Now if you use the exact same answers on that test, would that be considered cheating? No, because you passed the test before and you're gonna pass it again using the exact same answers for that exact same test that has those exact same questions. The deal I have is why is self-plagiarizing even a form of plagiarism when it is something that you wrote has your name on it? And the only reason it should be considered plagiarism is if someone else other than yourself is even using that work in the first place. Now guys, I'm not saying go out there and self-plagiarize yourself because you're going to get in a lot of trouble because plagiarizing is a major thing in college if you do not know already. You know plagiarizing in high school would probably get you sent to the principal's office if your school is uptight, but in most cases it will just get you an F on the paper. In college, if you plagiarize, you're not allowed into the university anymore if they decide to take that route. But basically, you failed the class and you just paid $50 a class for nothing. If you want to reuse your own work, just ask your teacher. I don't want to spend all my time redoing a paper that I have already done. That's all I got for today guys, click like down below, if you like the video, click me if you want to subscribe, and click these awesome people right here that have inspired me to vlog, they are really amazing, you should check them out for me. So until next time, Rhythm Sticks out. Like and subscribe, foe. Yeah.